Well, in Aiken speaking out about a new life coming to the old Aiken Hospital. The developer gave the community the chance to show up tonight and ask questions about the plans and provide their feedback, and it was mostly good news. Nick Veland live in the newsroom for us. Nick, huge crowd showed up tonight to weigh in. Yeah, Laura, it was a lot of excitement and curiosity about this project tonight, and the community took full advantage of asking the developer himself about the plan. Kind of bringing sexy back to Aiken a little bit. Yeah. And bringing it back with hopes to redevelop the old Aiken County Hospital. Wanting to make it a live, work, play complex, bringing life to an area that's a 15-minute walk from downtown Aiken. I think it's amazing. To me, this is the gateway to downtown, and this is a development that has needed to happen for quite some time. And I think all of the things that are being incorporated into it is just going to be perfect. The drawings have townhomes, mixed-use spaces, condos, apartments, a park, and commercial areas which look to include restaurants. Jeanette Mosley owns two businesses downtown. She isn't afraid of this taking any business away. Even though it's going to incorporate more dining down here, it's going to give more people more options to come downtown, more reasons to come downtown. Even if they don't live here, they're going to want to come and visit some of the restaurants that are here as well. And that's just going to pull more people downtown. And Turner saw the support from those who came out. It speaks volume when you have support of the community, especially being from this local area. It speaks volumes that people really like the layout. And, and I thought it was even better that we didn't really have too many pushbacks on what we presented. No pushback for now. For his plans. Like he said, we're bringing the sexy back. <laughs> And tomorrow, Turner looks for Planning Commission approval to rezone this land to allow for more than just office spaces. If all goes to plan, they could start construction by the end of this year. Okay, looks like a good turnout, good feedback, and we will wait to see what's to come. Thanks, Nick.